Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3, A New Way Forward. I did a few things in between episodes. Firstly, I want to show you that our food problems are now sorted because we have 8 carat carat plus which give us night vision and saturation which is the magical thing for mining and all that. So I can just, I think you can eat these over uh, anything. So we just get beautiful night vision and saturation for 9 minutes. So that'll sort vein mining for the nether or any other dimension, really. And you can get these carrot, carrot seeds by taking some bone meal, bone meal, and going to your grass and then just doing basically this. Hold down your vein miner key and then right click, left click, right click, left click, right click, left click. As you can see, I have 23. We're gonna see if I can get another one. I don't know what just turned off on my computer. Something made a weird thing. Give me another one. Well, it doesn't want to work right now. <laughs> but that's how you get them. Because I did get them that way. Oh, there we go. Just as I start talking about it. Okay. And then you can plant these. And these can be twerked on uh, by the tree twerking mod, which is really cool. So you can just plant them and then do this. And you get a whole lot of particles. Uh, and you don't get 100% of the seed back, I don't think. You sometimes do, you sometimes don't. But... Basically, you can just bone meal more stuff, and these will last for quite a while because you only need to eat like one at a time, uh, to, and then you don't have to eat for the next nine minutes because you have saturation. Uh, so that is really cool. And I made a white backpack out of uh, this woven cloth, which is just string and a stick, and that is kind of like a chest to have. So I'll just take these 38 and we'll have them on us right now. I'm gonna toss, not my backpack, Backpack in the system. I'm gonna plant these back just so we can have them here. They can grow over time and we can just harvest when we need to. Uh, and I'll just do it like that, okay? Uh, so over here, I have this now. Uh, we are making diamonds with uh, diamond seeds. And as soon as I come closer, it just starts going crazy because bone meal. Uh, and you can see that blood moons make that crops require higher light levels to grow is I believe what is the case. <clears throat> With blood moons because a blood moon is just rising no we're at sunrise the blood moon is ending uh but basically as you can see like these guys over here don't grow because they don't have sufficient light level and i think i can solve that by putting the lamps in the ceiling plus this entire thing is gonna get redone in another place where i get the seeds i might just have this for like get a few of the materials that i need for the different uh uh, for the different, uh, basically, resources. Because we were low on diamonds, and I can just get this and stand here for a while while this slow crafter makes us the, the diamond essences. Yeah, right now you can see everything grows because it's a normal day now. Uh, but this is basically not fast enough to process everything if I'm sitting there with bone mealer. But this, this is kind of. Uh, I mean, it harvests as fast as it possibly can. Uh, but that is fine. Okay. Uh, so we have 169,000 Inferium, and I just crafted the uh, the seeds for the diamonds, and then I did the whole spiral thing like I did in the last episode to get to the 10, 10, 10, uh, and that is really cool. And I tested in a creative world, uh, the garden cloches do not treat agricraft seeds as agricraft seeds, because you cannot put crop sticks in a garden cloche, I believe. Uh, so we can't really grow... 10 10 10 uh, with agricraft crop sticks in a garden cloche because this one for example if i harvest i get like 11 diamond essence with the other one i would probably get just uh just one or two or maybe four i don't know how it works with the 10 10 10s how much you get i think you got four uh plus there's also the other diamond seed uh diamalia i believe it's called diam diama something diamalia this one uh, and you can get this by putting diamond ore underneath gravel and then planting these on top. And you need to breed them with Ari gold, which is gold seeds, and which are redstone seeds, which are iron seeds. And iron seeds are pumpkin and melon. And you need the corresponding ores. But these produce uh, iron nuggets and these produce, I believe, diamond nuggets. So I think it's just better to do... It's kind of, I think, the same... Because we get like a diamond per harvest of the crop, and I don't know how much we would get from the other seeds. I would have to go test in creative, or we could make like redstone seeds or something. Because the redstone, uh, if we look at recipes for redstone, 
Uh, there's crop produce. We get one redstone per red seeds, so these might be worth it if I get enough redstone ore. Uh, but today, I want to go on a bit of an exploration journey. We need to go to the Twilight Forest. So we need, I believe it's grass. So we're going to grab the grass seed. Uh, I'm going to grab some dirt, which I don't have here anymore because I have everything in this chest, all of my dirt power. Okay, we'll grab a stack, leave that in here. So I need probably a space for all my portals, but I think this is a five by five so let's go like this uh, so that would be the five like that and then this would be one two three four five like that okay so I need to just cut this open and then I can just vein mine the rest of this and we'll put a grass seed over here just so it could spread over uh, I don't know if I need to use a watering can on it. Uh, do I have a watering can? I do not. Watering can. This requires the inferior watering can, which is not a problem. Uh, we can just make... Oh, we need water essence. Ah, we need water seeds. Uh, then we won't do this because this one would be nice. And this one is just a fertilizer, which is the sewage composter, which... Uh, takes, I believe, the sludge and turns it into fertilizer, I guess. Uh, but we can just wait for the grass to spread. I don't think it's going to take that long. Um, and I don't even know if it needs to be grass. And I'm going to grab poppies. And then uh, we have slabs on us and we need some water. So I'll grab a sink and a bucket. Okay. I'm, I'm, and we are going to need a diamond, I believe. I hope I remember this correctly. Uh, let's grab all of these slabby jabbies and we're gonna do something like this I don't know if this needs to be dirt as well I don't think so because it's just this in here and then we place flowers all around it and then we take our sink put the water inside There we go. And then you toss a diamond in. Yeah, I think it might need to be grass. Uh, I might have to look this up, hold on. So apparently it's a glimmer crystal to open a twilight forest portal instead of a diamond. And the glimmer crystal is made with embers, with ember shards, which can be get from, gotten from archaic bricks. In the sluice box is these. And then we need an exchange tablet which is kamenite and kamenite is kamenite blend which is that it's a little bit gated i don't know if i want to do all of this i don't know if i need because that's dawnstone and dawnstone ingots are a whole thing with stamping and getting molten dawnstone stuffs because you need to mix gold and dawnstone or gold and copper to get dawnstone it's a whole thing with embers so i don't really know if i want to get into that so maybe we won't go to the twilight forest but what i wanted to get was the simple crystals from uh simple crystal we need this simple crystal deposit is what we need to get the simple crystals so we can start making the arcane forge which is mana infused dust which is this uh, and then we could make more and because even the Lordcraft book it's it's so so weird uh, if we do add Lord uh, even this book of knowledge is gated by simple crystals like make this recipe something different so I can get the book of knowledge so I can understand what I need to do to get this um, but I had to ask in my discord for help uh, for that to work so I had this whole plan of going to the Twilight Forest and it's not gonna work because we need the whole embers thing so, do I want to go explore the entire embers thing? It is here, and we can do the whole, uh, hold on, at embers, uh, where is the ancient codex? Right here. So we need an ancient motive core. Do we have a core? We do have a bunch of them. So I assume we can just make this, okay? And this is the, like, tablet. For this are you gonna detect my quest do I need to toss it on the floor pick it back up again ah, there it goes 
Okay, we're gonna claim the arcades. We need an ember hammer. Let's just do embers, I guess. Ember hammer. That is doable. And then piping, ember excavation, kamenite. Okay. So, kamenite is this. Let's get a stack of this and get it smelted. Okay. We'll grab the bricks just so we get the quest. We're just going to claim the loot chests as we go. Okay, and then stamps. So how does one make... I assume you make the plate. No, flat stamp. Raw flat stamp. It's Kamenite blend in 8.1. So let's just get a bunch of this. Just get eight of these. And then I assume... Okay, we need a bar stamp, a flat stamp, and a plate stamp. So how do I get that? Oh, they're okay. I see. Fine, be that way. Grab another stack. Make me a bar stamp and a plate stamp. Okay. So that should be it as soon as I smelt it. Even though we need didn't need eight flat stamps, but that's fine. Okay. We can claim that. We need a melter. So let's just find it over here. Melter. We need a Kamenite plate. So we need probably a couple of these. Let's just get eight and get these cooked up. Six, seven, eight. Okay. And we can then make a furnace. What? What are you? Oh, moon rock. Okay, what I got it was weirded out. Uh, let me just make... 32. Okay, melter. Oh, God. This is a whole thing with it, without a GUI. Okay. The ancient codex will have all the information you need. Okay, that is fine. So we need a stamper probably as well. So this is a stamper, okay? Uh, and we then need a reservoir, mixer, centrifuge probably as well. So that's a stamper, stamp base, ember bore, machine accessor, copper cell, mixer, centrifuge. Needs a mechanical core, which needs a compass. Oh, we need, we need a, what is the thing that we use to make plates? Uh, from Magnetic Craft, this guy, Crushing Table, and then the Lead. I'll place you right here. Okay. So that's a mechanical core. And that is a mixer centrifuge. I'm glad I made iron plates from before. Oh, so we need a stamp base as well. Ba -ba -ba -ba, stamp base. Ah, Kamenite bricks. One. Two. Okay. And I'm gonna have to do a whole reading session on how this, uh, all this shebang works. We can claim this, we can claim this. Okay. And then Dawnstone, we just need to make that in the mixer center feature. Okay, let me do a quick read in the Ancient Codex to figure out how these machines work and how we pipe all the stuff around, and I'll be back once I have an idea of how this works. So I figured out a few of the things. You take archaic bricks, which we get from the mob, we uh, we got them from the mob farm, and we have 12,000 of them, uh, of, of the these guys, basically, and you take uh, four of them, and you turn them into archaic bricks, and then you can toss 10 of them at a time in the sluice box, as we've seen before with the ores. Uh, and then you get ember shards. And you can just do that over and over again with either one or however many you want. And then you turn those ember shards into ember crystals by doing this. Uh, and you can then take these ember crystals and toss them into the pressure refinery and that makes ember. And I just don't know how you extract it. Like, I I don't know if uh, this copper cell is not accepting ember or how this accepts ember. 
I don't know if it has like a bottom slot or a top slot that you need to insert into. Uh, I might have to read on about it because it has like it has something on the bottom and it has something on the top. And I don't know if you need to put like a receiver or thing. Uh, so if we do, is there anywhere? Where are you? This. The copper self fulfills a very simple purpose. Ember storage. It can be given ember using an ember receptor or have ember removed from it through an ember emitter. Note that a copper cell is broken. It will retain its stored ember. Okay. So I don't know if I need to put this. It said it is an emitter. I put it on top. It kind of looks like it connects because it does thingies on, on there. Uh, and it looks like it's stored at the ember and then we can put an ember receptor. I don't know where you can put this. I, it looks like it can connect to all of the sides. Do I need to pipe it? Like, do I need to actually put piping down? Or does this travel travel to the ground? So, or through the air, ember. At embers, because there's fluid pipes and there's item pipes, and I think ember just travels through this through the sky or through the world, kind of like V does for Thomcraft. So if we put this here, and maybe we'll take this, and we'll put it right on top. That doesn't connect. Okay, so we do need to do the thing with thing. So that, and I have to break a slab at a time. Just gonna go down so it's a little bit faster. Uh, and we're gonna put you right here. And then if I take my tinker hammer, it says targeting. How does one link this? So let's see. Da 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 da. No, this. So receptors are uh, to link and receptor together. Simply shift right click the receptor with your tinker hammer and right click the emitter with the hammer. There is no distance limit to linking, but after an ember burst has been transited for a while, it can fade away losing all of its ember carried. Okay, so I shift right click this, whoops, once, and then I right click this. Apparently I cannot. Can I like clear the hammer somehow? See, I can't, or am I doing things in the wrong way? So to link emitters and receptors, the receptor, ah, okay. That do the thing. Okay, I linked them up. I don't know if all the ember got lost. Like I would really love a GUI for this. Uh, I need more of the shards, so hold on. Okay, ember shards gotten, or ember crystals even. So I'll toss just one. I want to see a particle effect. I don't have Optifine. I have all particles on and nothing happens. But this apparently accepts water and crystals and makes ember. And I assume I linked these two up. So shift right click that, right click that. That I assume is linked. Uh, maybe we can try this again by putting this over here and we're gonna do this here oh yeah this needs love uh, this needs redstone right, right 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 now it's gonna work hold on hold on this this i forgot about the redstone part and if we give you redstone oh my god we did it we have embers okay so that is transferring that is really cool i like that okay so then we need to do this so we can extract out of this. And I'm just going to toss the rest of these crystals in here and they can just melt into embers. I don't know how much we'll get out of that, but apparently you get three times the amount if you put a metal block underneath, which you can see that it's a copper block over there, and uh, lava around it. And then apparently it makes more embers per thing. So that's cool. I totally forgot about the redstone. Okay, so with that, we can now do, while well, you've been using various metals to control the flow of ember through the mixer centrifuge, create new alloys. We need melting things down. Okay, we need the, the, the this guy. So you, okay, let's read, read upon the melter. Using the power of activated ember, you have devised a way to melt down objects. When the melter's bottom block is provided with ember, it will melt down meltable items in its top block into their liquid state where the molten fluid can be piped out for external reuse. Okay, so I assume 
I take, uh, let's say we do gold and copper is what we're gonna need to make the dawn stone, right? So if I, can I just put it like this inside? Okay, I can. And I can then extract the entire thing. Okay, cool. So we need a receptor here. Uh, we're gonna put a lever right here and we can then shift right click, right click, do that. And it's melting. Okay, and then we can extract it using a liquid translocator up here. We need the mixer centrifuge next. So that, I can you be put like that? Awesome. That gets copper. I don't know if how much... Okay, that just did one ingot. Can I put another gold ingot in here? And can we then... I hate not having a GUI. Because the mixer centrifuge, it's said for the dawn stone. Dot, 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 stone. It's a stampening recipe with molten dawn stone. And molten dawn stone is mixing recipe with gold and copper. Right? So it has molten gold. Oh, do I need to put the molten gold in the, in the bottom slot? I might have to do that. Um, how do I get it down there? It's not going in the top slot. Okay, let's uh, let's read upon the melting things down. Yeah, that's fine. Mix it up. Okay. Uh, you will each face of the bottom of the centrifuge is its own tank. When fluids is pumped into these tanks in a particular combination, and the top block of the centrifuge is given ember, a molten alloy will be created, which can be pumped out of the top block. Okay. So if we then take an ember receptor, and we sneak right click and right click. Can you go to two of them? Well, this is getting embers, but we need to pump and we can't pump it out of there. So we would need the whole thing with a maybe a fluid transfer node would work. Uh, so let's do transfer. I, I might actually have those transfer. I have transfer pipes. We just need a fluid transfer node like that. Okay. And we're just gonna put you right here. Molten gold, yep. And we're gonna pump you down here. Okay. And then that needs to be put into the stamper. So this, that's a pump it up stamper. To shape molten metal into useful forms, you have to devise a stamper. The stamper requires two parts, the stamper itself and the stamper base. Place the stamper two blocks above the stamper base. Give it ember, okay. So we're gonna put the stamper base down and then I assume it was just like this and this. That's a stamper. No, melting stamper. Okay, so place the stamper two blocks above the stamper base. So two blocks above. Oops. So what if we do this and put the stamp base here? Oh, that was actually fine. I didn't need to break that. I'll just put two chests down so we can place it on top. It's gonna be easier to break than four slabs. Okay, and then we can put a bar stamp in there, I guess. Okay. Then we need the, the stamper base. Give it ember as well as a particular stamp pipe, molten metal into the stamper base and the stamper should begin to process. Okay, so the stamper needs ember. Put that here. And then we need to pump liquids into here. How does one see? That's molten copper. I did not want to extract that. Where do we extract? from the mixer. I'll take things down. Okay. When fluid is pumped into these tanks in a particular combination and the top block of the centrifuge is given ember, a molten alloy will be created which can be pumped out of the top block. So, copper. I 
Like, I just wish I would see how everything works with a GUI. <laughs> like, make GUIs, because this is horribly difficult. Okay, I assumed that melted. And I don't know how, how I know when this is complete, because it didn't give me anything. Okay, hold on. Okay, it actually worked. I don't know how I managed, but I managed to get down Dawnstone out of this. I just got this working. It needs to be the, this tall. It needs to be one block in the middle, not two blocks. And then it works. But basically, I used singularity tanks and a whole lot of transfer noting around. Because, like, this just needs I, some sort of way to tell you which goes which and what, what is where. And I would just need fluid filters to filter out so I don't extract the Dawnstone. And then I only extract, like, copper on one side and gold on the other. Uh, which we could probably get into. But I would need buckets of things to get them on the filters. And it would be hella weird and hella annoying. But I managed to get this working. And we can just turn this off so we don't waste embers. Uh, but I did get some downstone. Uh, we can eat another carrot so we get it up night vision and the saturation. Uh, but it did work. So with the downstone now, uh, I needed the, what is it? The, I think it's a crystal of some type. Uh, wait, let's do add M. I think it was from embers. Yes. Uh, pa -pa -pa. Where are you? This guy. Glimmer crystal. We need ember shards. Nether quartz and gunpowder in an exchange tablet. So let's get... Oh, we need a Dawnstone plate. Uh, so I can probably put um, in the melter. Let's take this off. We're going to grab this singularity tank. I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to put a transfer node here. So what we can try and do... Um, hold on. Can we get fluid filters? Filter. Yes. Let's do let's try and actually make this a feasible thing. Let's grab three of these. And then I'm gonna grab some buckets, which I have a bucket on me, it should be fine. Okay, let's put take this off and grab this singular tank as well. Okay, let me melt some copper right here. And that should go into this singularity tank. And once I get a bucket, I can grab it and put it on a filter. And we can put the filter into this transfer node. So I'll, what I'll do, uh, well, this needs uh, needs embers, first of all. There we go, molten copper. And once I get a bucket, I'm going to filter this on this side and filter the gold on the other side. And we can then extract it to the corresponding sides. And we can make more downstone so we can make a downstone plate as well. Okay, I finally figured it out. You have to insert into the bottom slot and then the top slot produces Molten Dawnstone. So that is how it works. I have a bunch of copper melting, I believe, and a bunch of gold as well. So I'll just grab another stack of copper and another stack of gold. And we can have this <clears throat> Singularity Tank as a buffer. I'll just toss the copper and the... not the Dawnstone. Did I toss the gold already? Did I not grab the gold? Did the gold fall on the ground? I don't know. Oh, here's the gold. I accidentally dropped it on the floor. Okay, that's gonna continue melting. I'm pretty sure we have a bunch of embers still being produced. We have the shards going, we're going very slowly with the, through the shards, but everything is functioning so far. So that is cool. Uh, and the staff base requires us to give it liquids. So we'll do that. And I do, I have more fluid translocators. I do, we'll just do that. <clears throat> and give it liquids, like so. And then we need the stamper to come over on the top here. So over like so. And I don't know if I can control this with redstone. Well, uh, I don't know. I can probably control this uh, translocator though. So if I grab a redstone piece, red stone right here. We can probably control this. So I'll put it right over here and we can turn it off and on. Okay. So we can then give you a plate stamp. And it needs embers as well. So we'll do this. I don't know if uh, these can split. I don't know. But it's going to make us some downstone plates. 
and the uses for these are for the machine that we needed the exchange tablet so uh, that should make us a couple at least oh i gave it more that's fine we'll just take this and we're gonna give you a bar stamp and you're gonna make us more ingots okay so let's make the tablet tablet this guy i think i should have everything nice okay how does you work place you down you do absolutely nothing okay so the exchange tablet let me find it in here Technology construct this exchange ember alchemy is truly marvelous discovery the first key is the exchange tablet right click on its various faces to insert items into their respective slots the next is the alchemy pedestal there these bear Aspecti and can contain ash. For an alchemy recipe, place a pedestal for each needed aspect of about the tablet. Fill it with ash with the determined range and strike the tablet with the beam. Ca oh god, there's so much. <laughs> so much. Okay. So, crystal. Uh, let's do add M. Okay, I think I have most of the things ready for the crystal, and I wasn't tabbed in. But we needed the cinder plinth. You put any sort of item in and provide it with ember, and it will burn that item into ash, or to in ash piles, for example, uh, like this. And I'm just going to wait for this to finish. It's just has a couple left. But with the exchange tablet can accept items from different sides. So you just right click on them and you kind of make the same recipe. I just went from the orientation of the nether quartz. I hope hope that will be fine. And then you need an alchemy pedestal. And I put on a Dawnstone Aspectus, which is not the uses, the recipe is with a plate stamp, an ember shard and da molten Dawnstone. So you basically you just take an ember shard, you right click into here, you put in the Dawnstone uh, and I'm not, I'm just going to stop you from making more plates. Uh, and then you put the plate stamp on and it makes the Dawnstone Aspectus. So you take that, put it on top. I believe we then just put in ash from the side here. Uh, and then we need this to get ember. So I'm going to shift right click, right click. And I assume that should be fine. Um, so... The next is Elkin Pedestal. This bear effect and contain ash. For Elkin Mirror, you place a pedestal for each new aspect about the tablet. Fill it with ash with a determined range and strike the tablet with the beam cannon. Okay. So the beam cannon. Shift the click, then right click the camera hammer. When it's given enough ember, it will fire off a beam of pure radiant heat. The beam can kill. Okay, so it needs a lot of ember, apparently. Okay, let's turn these off and these off. Um, and this one on. Okay, now it's getting ember, and we'll see if that works. I have enough ash in here. It said 64 to 80, so I have 64 with the Dawn Sun Aspectus. I have things, and I don't know how much ember this needs because I can't really see. But this is linked up to the thing. I don't know if I have to place it differently. Because when I placed it before, I kind of placed it like this, and then you can you can sh uh, well, shift right click and right click, and it goes kind of underneath. Uh, and I don't know if the these connect to any side. Looks like it does, I guess. Go embers, go. I could probably put this closer because embers lose power when they're in the air, but I'll just wait here and see if this happens. Okay, so all this needed was a redstone signal. It doesn't say that in the tablet, but this apparently is doing something now. It's draining the ash, I would assume, from this, and it's hopefully gonna get us our glimmer crystal, finally. And then I think I'm gonna end the episode because it's already getting probably too long. I haven't really checked, but we'll see when this is done. So it finished, and it gave me alchemical waste, and said Dawnstone inaccuracy of 16. So basically, I assume I just need to do this multiple times until it completes and does it correctly. So we'll just take this again, 
and it didn't take too long before I, uh, I cut there to for this to finish so we'll put this in here and then I need just to collect up another stack of ash I tried the transmutation I think three times total four times and it didn't really work and I started burning sticks because it's much easier to get sticks uh, than uh, or I have a bunch of sticks as well and a bunch of wood so it doesn't really matter but you know uh, so I assume you can use multiple of these so we'll put a stack in there and a 16 in there because it says 64 to 80 yeah that does the thing and we'll see if this works oh my god it worked okay take this no, it ha oh, did lightning stuff. Can I pick that up again? I thought this was supposed, to it might be a two by two that I need. And apparently I can't pick this up in water. The water isn't flowing, is the world laggy? Apparently, oh, apparently it made the twilight portal. Interesting. And it put me right next to an... Oh yeah, we can't uh, fly here. And it put me right next to the yetis. Okay, will this be a normal twilight portal? Okay, it is. Okay. It just lagged a whole bunch. But it did work. Okay, cool. We have twilight forest portals. Nice. And we can't fly into twilight forest, which is a bummer. Uh, in some mod packs, it was enabled to be able to, or was, it wasn't able to fly. But this is the whole. Oh yeah, this has the the whole barrier, and we can't. Yeah, we you can't just you just don't see anything, and I think you get damaged, as well, because you need to do the whole progression. We need to go kill the Naga and all that stuff. But I think that'll wait for next episode. So I'm gonna end the episode off here. I want to thank you all for watching and bearing with me through all of the Ember's shenanigans, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.